and demanding sport. The skier needs control, power, and technique to complete the slalom course, shortening the line at the completion of each successive run. Like the snow skier who is continually twisting and turning, so the water skier sets an edge and pulls hard to round the six boys in the slalom course. the second discipline that has to be mastered. The water skier needs skill and artistry as he moves from trick to trick, scoring points for the complexity of each manoeuvre, but only if they are well performed. He has to be as good as a champion figure skater, with a similar repertoire of high scoring and complex twists and turns on the surface and in the air, all coordinated to produce the maximum score in the time allowed. Finally jumping, the water skier needs physical strength to use the power of the pull of the boat to approach the jump. He needs skill and technique to hit the six foot ramp at over 60 miles per hour so he can fly further than anyone else. This is just like the ski jumper who stretches for that extra winning meter to become the best in the world. This is Mike Hazelwood who just proved that he's the best water skier in the world over the combined disciplines. Three skills in one, each demanding different techniques. Mike, tell us about the medals you're wearing. Yeah, the, the first silver one I got here is for the, the tricks event. And then I got another one for the farm event. And eventually I went on to win the gold for the overall. You know, I'd worked 10 years to, towards winning the, the world title. And eventually I pulled it off. It's a terrific feeling. Mike has been water skiing since he was nine. When he was 11, he met David Nations at the National Training Centre at Ryslip. Now, after nine years together, Mike is world champion. But how does one begin to make a world champion? The answer, a very simple land lesson. Here with Paul Adlington is David Nations, OBE. So if he's going to give you a water ski lesson to try to teach you in that one lesson how to ski. Most important thing, first of all, is your body position. That's right, nice and comfortable. Now all I want you to do is do a normal knees bend, do it now, down you go slowly, head up, stand up, up you go, three quarters round your heels, that's good, that's the important thing, now that's simple. Now, you're going to have the handle, now I'm going to give you the handle, because we're going to assimilate what's going to happen to you in the water. You're not going to be pulled by the rope that way, you've got to stand with your feet, that's important. So, what to do is lock your arms, now I'm not going to pull you, because that's the mistake that so many people had done before, they try to pull the skier up and you use your hands as the method of getting up. You've got to use your feet. So I'm going to let the rope be absolutely loose. Now you do a knee bend, knee bend. Now come up slowly, under control, arms nice and straight, onto your heel, stop. Right, that's fine. That's good. Now what we'll do, we'll go with Paul and we'll try all this out in the water. Fine. Let's go off. Right, that's lovely. Right, let's wet Okay. Oh. Right. I just walk through the edge. Sit down to 
When David is satisfied that our beginner has mastered the basics on land, he then coaches her on the water from the towing boat. on one ski, then the next stage is to learn slalom. This is Steve Lawrence. Now watch Steve skiing in front of the gate. He takes the first boy, just watch his position while he turns, squares off, turns inside the second boy, now he pulls nicely and comes round the third boy. Now pulls towards the fourth boy, comes inside it while he comes round the fifth boy, in very good position, he gives a hard pull here, reaches towards the sixth, but doesn't make it, turns inside, and comes out through the end of the game. Now let's watch Mike Hazelwood and see slaloming at its very best. Now watch the way as he's pulling for his first boy. Watch how he goes onto his edge, really breaking hard as he leans away and turns that ski, reaches for, gets his hand off, gets the power of the boat and really pulls as the boat gets to his point and he's really coming across, both the wake, pulling all the time onto the edge now he's going to transfer his edges, watch how he breaks, watch the power on that back leg, and watch how he's beginning to turn the ski, leaning forward with his right handle to come around the boy, getting himself absolutely ready to grasp back on the handle, turn his ski on a right angle, he's turning, he's pulling his ski really hard, right angle, to give himself enough room to approach the next boy, crosses the weight. Now just let's look at the world champion going through a slalom course.
The next discipline we'll see is trick skiing. Firstly, watch Steve practicing the basic position. again, step weight, step, step, step weight, step weight from front, wrap in for reverse step weight from front, a weight 360 wrap, and a weight 360 again. Well done, Mike. Now watch how Mike wrap to start his toe hold. His binds on firmly. Start the toe 540, toe 180, reverse toe 540. Now watch the way Mike is using his legs bringing his leg in as he turns it, even when he goes over balance, that he still gets himself up and turns up. You must head it from the waist forward, keeping a central body balance, bringing your leg in while you're turning your ski at the same time. You can watch all these movements, always in control, on all his positions, right to his body. Now, watch the world champion tricks.
finally, let's move on to the spectacular event, jumping. Watch Steve again. He's taking a straight approach to the jump, knees bent, hands in. Watch him on the jump. Now, you see Steve making his first cut to the jump in the same position again, arms down, elbows in once again, on the jump, and watch his landing. When I'm coaching, I take a position at the side of the jump. I can watch all his movements. I watch the way he pulls, I watch the way he starts to cut, I watch the way as he approaches the jump, he hits the jump, he goes through the air, I watch him land, that's him ball. Now let's see the world watch champion. Right. Counter cutting hard, pulls really hard around the side of the boat, now raises his leg, starts to spread a leg to get his exact position while he reaches in and pulls with all his force, leaning away, really hits the jump, kicks up high and hard. 